Hello, good morning. This is Shekha Jalan from Accelerate Myself. Today, I'll be discussing the topic of remedial measures and charity for Saturn. Uh, this is quite a tough topic because it's very big, elaborate. I uh, will elaborate on this, sorry. So, let us go into it step by step. Firstly, we should understand that when a person is going through a Dasha Bhukti, that is the period of Saturn, and when Saturn is actually very deep in the chart, you know, manifestly disposed in the chart, then what actually is happening here is that the goodness of Saturn, the goodness of Saturn is giving patience, giving a stable job, giving stable health, you know, very strict routine, all this will go upside down. That is a person will go through weak health, chronic ailments, lot of heavy loads in the job, job will be erratic, it will not be stable. So all this will keep happening. Even married life will also go upside down. So Saturn is one of the strongest planets. When it is good, then it gives strong benefic results. And when it is bad, it gives a strong malefic results. So we, we usually know we are afraid of this planet. Astrologically, people are like, you know, they they pray for uh, pray to Saturn to you know forgive them or uh, let them uh, you know live alone or something like that. So in most parts of India, this is uh, happening because people have not understood what actually Saturn is. So let us go in one by step by step. This is the most revered, most feared. And a planet which has been, you know, hyped into such a level that they have made it a demon actually. It's nothing like that. What actually happens when Saturn is negative is that, you know, low back pain may result and uh, people can get into chronic uh, difficulties like asthma, like uh, knee pains, like uh, rheumatoid arthritis, many things. So, what is the remedy for it? What can I do for it? It is very important. Heavy loads, tiring job, back breaking, tankless jobs, hardships, you know, toiling in hard, rough environment. This is what Saturn might represent in its Dasha Bhukti when it is aspecting the 10th house, the house of profession. So can this be reversed or can it be, you know, somehow mitigated that a person can come out of this? Yes, it can be done. Usually people who are very rough, and have been, you know, uh, I'll not tell they are rude and careless about humanity, but in a way, they they would have gone through the Jupiter Dasha, where they would they, they they would be more self-centered and they would have focused only on their own achievements. So this is what is very important to understand. So please understand when you are going through the Rahu Dasha. You have entered into the Jupiter Dasha. You have finished the Jupiter Dasha. Only then you will enter into Saturn Mahadasha, Shani Dasha. That is why we tell Rahu, Guru, Shani. Then we get Buddha. So, Rahu and Jupiter, people will have extraordinary confidence if they are very well placed. And what will happen is that they will have, you know, unnecessarily taken some decisions which might not be ethical in that particular society and Saturn 
is the one which will come back and set tell set you right that setting right is going to give you hardships so let us agree one thing that saturn here is to set us right in our path in a way it punishes us because we are not used to that hard work thankless jobs because you know that there are many people suffering because they don't get the promotions they don't get the suitable increments they don't get the recognition all this happens even after doing a lot of hard work for a long period of time so as good as thankless jobs so the best remedy here is to accept go through the routine and try to do it as easily as possible without going through sorrow because you cannot avoid this this is saturn you cannot avoid this you cannot simply jump away from this and tell okay i'm leaving this job many people leave the job they don't get a job at all they are jobless sitting and waiting but they don't want to do that hard work but they go through another hardship of being jobless is another difficulty so result of low back pain all those people who are lethargic who do not want to do physical exercise who do not want to be active on their toes they will get this problem of low back pain knee joint pain joint pains like rheumatism on this because walking and you know uh, make exercising pertains to the activity of sun moon mars mercury and these are the first four planets surya ay chandra ay mangala ay bhuja ay budha ay cha sun moon mars mercury so now we are in the saturn the old age you know all the you know creaky joints you, you get all those sounds you know you know when you are moving them you get those sounds so that why do you get those sounds because you are getting old so you need to walk at least 5 to 10 minutes at least 4 to 5 times in a day you do that it will slowly reduce it will not immediately reduce because you are aging you are not uh, going back in age or becoming young anymore so but it it will decrease the rate and speed in which it's deteriorating will decrease and your muscles will start toning up and you will get good results for mitigating back pain keep hydrating because shani represents most part of dryness and dry air it represents that so it will take away a lot of water from you so when saturn is weak in the chart and its period is running or let us say a transit of saturn is happening over the moon or happening over the uh, lagna particularly happening over the lagna because it's what represents body keep hydrating yourself you need to hydrate yourself only if you hydrate yourself you will be able to do something uh, good for your body that is you will be able to recharge your body with regard to water so breathing exercises particularly pranayama that is because exhaling is saturn and inhaling is uh, you know mercury mercury will give youth it will give protect your skin it will give you youth and exhaling it it will bring you old age so does it mean that you should stop exhaling altogether it doesn't happen so it is how uh, things work in our body we keep aging as we breathe but that doesn't mean that we can stop breathing altogether and tell that we will not age it's not like that so people the rishi muni is the sages they all found out that as we can regulate our breath if we are able to do that through pranayama or breathing exercises like anuloma viloma then we can also regulate the aging process and we can be youthfully young for a long period of time so do this and it can mitigate or you can actually it's a remedial measure for saturn 
slow position maintaining yoga this is a very important thing that is if you are able to do stretching exercises and also hold positions in the yogic postures saturn will give you fantastic results uh, it becomes stronger though it is weak in your chart it will start giving you positive results practice yoga at least an hour in a day it will be good for you osteoarthritis rheumatoid arthritis all this can be solved by using oil massages by going through you know taking good uh, uh, you know a diet which is filled with nutrition omega 3 6 9 all these deficiencies are actually increasing nowadays you know vitamin d deficiencies because we are forgetting sun we we have to show our body to the sun we have to be in the sun for some time in the morning and uh, till oil a traditional scientific scientific practice for uh, saturn is till oil you massage the oil to your uh, skin and the body particularly the palm you know, and the feet please don't walk with the oil on so you should wipe it out before you walk because you may slip and fall so please don't do all that so use the till oil till means uh, um, sesame sesame oil so then when we go to the mantra japa uh, for the hindu vedic practice because this is vedic astrology we can do simple mantra japas like om sham shaneshaya namaha om sham shaneshaya namaha sham here means shanti so let there be peace shaneshaya namaha we are just saluting saluting the slow moving planet shani you can do go into the vedic uh, uh, you know chanting also शमग्निरग्निखर छन्नस्तपुत सूर्य शंवात ओवात्वरपापश्रिता शमग्निरिपिटि शनैश्चर उष्णि दिस् इज दि ऐक्चुअल थिंग फॉर इट शमग्निर्मग्निर दट इज शमग्नि इज द मंत्र एक्सेट्रा मीन समग्नि एंड एट हाल मंत्र एंड irimbitish is the rishi shanaischa devata ushnik is the chandas the grammar which is used so shamagne vityasya irimbitish shanaischa ushnik shamagne ragne vikhar chandasta surya shamvado ovatvara va apasrida this uh, has a lot of power and it gives a lot of relief mentally to the native so going to the charity of saturn all those who don't have all those who are going through pain all the destitutes the beggars the people who are homeless people who are uh, having no food all these people require help people who are shivering in the cold nights people who are you know don't have shelter at all even animals like dogs who don't have shelter dogs who are hungry sleeping on the road please help them please give them some shelter give them some food and you are not going to lose anything this is the charity what you can do for saturn the most easiest uh, charity is for saturn and that is the one that is the a uh, very big area you know beggars destitute so people who are uh, on the road homeless people who are Uh, who want medication they don't have the money to buy it people who want medical treatment who they don't have the money to get it done so these people are the ones who actually are to be helped even all the stray animals animals who are going through a lot of uh, pain because of fractures road accidents if you are able to give a rescue you know charity to rescue then saturn will help you so thank you very much for today's class i hope the audio is good because i have used this uh, gadget but let's see god bless thank you